Forestry Planning Permission Amendment Bill 2018, and I call on Deputy Martin Kenny to move for leave to introduce. Thank you, Concordia. Uh, planning permission for forestry is something that's needed across the country, and first of all, it's important to say the trees and the plantation of forestation is a positive thing and is something that our society needs. Planning permission is needed for almost every development that happens in the state. In fact, if you only want to put a different type of gate on your house, you have to get planning permission. If you want to change the colour of the roof on your house, you have to get planning permission. Yet, afforestation is something that people can plant without any or practically any uh, planning, planning, or planning or regulations at all. At the moment, planning, planning permission is required if you plant more than 50 hectares, of, uh, 50 hectares of forestry, which is a very large area. And in many, down the years, very, very few people have had to apply for planning permission at all. Really what we're asking about here is the situation about the type and scale of forestry that we see in many parts of the country. The visual impact it has, the, the environmental impact and the societal impact. The visual impact is something that I see certainly in my part of the world where we have large areas of forestry, mainly of silk spruce and pine forests, which grow up, which block out people's light, which are a, a, uh, uh, on the landscape we see them uh, many places where they break the horizon, that they completely destroy people's livelihoods. Many people have built houses and bought houses and have a beautiful view of a lake or of mountains and within a couple of years all of a sudden there's forestry built up in front of them and they have no right to object or no right for to say anything to anyone about it. The support for this bill comes from many, many agencies and many groups around the country. I know that Birdwatch Ireland support having a planning commission in place for forestry. I know that other farming organisations and environmental organisations also support having a planning commission in place for forestries. Local authorities up and down the length and breadth of the country have passed motions over the past number of years for to try and do something for to regulate afforestation. And I know in Leitrim County Council is over 30 years ago since the first motion was passed looking for planning permission for forestry. And that motion was supported by all parties, cross-party support almost everywhere in rural Ireland for to do something about this problem which we continue to see. The local authorities of course have huge issues in regard to this, particularly in regard to the roads, because forestry is considered um, a crop which people grow. Most crops, when you harvest that crop and take them out, they don't have any impact on the road structure or anything else. But forestry, when it's removed from where it has grown, it can be trucks coming out with 20 and 30 tonne weight on small country roads and destroy those roads and local authorities have no way of preventing this. They also, of course, make new entrance into places where there was never entrances before, and all of these issues continue to blight our landscape and to cause huge problems. We also have issues where we have forestry planted in areas which become landlocked, where forestry, and I know many of them in my own constituency, where there are large blocks of forestry, 20, 30, 40 hectares of forestry, and it has never been thinned, it has never been extracted, because it can't be extracted, because there's no entrance in or out to it. It's simply put there because there's very good grants available, and people make money on the grants that come from it, and then leave the trees there for to eventually die and be blown away in the wind. And that is a huge problem that needs to be addressed. The environmental cost of the wrong type of forestry is really a part of the problem that needs to be addressed here. And one of the ways of addressing that problem is through looking at planning permission, because planning permission, as well as looking at visual impact and all that, also looks at the environmental impact that it will have. Monoculture, the pine needles, and the, the way that they, they block out the light. If anyone here ever went into a forest of pine, when it's grown up, it creates a, a complete canopy across the top. The pine needles continue to fall down and nothing grows. It's like a desert inside. There's complete silence. There's no birds. There's no wildlife. And yet we're talking about biodiversity. So we really need to get a hold of this and understand that the problem we have here is about the wrong type of forestry, that we have to regulate this industry and we have to ensure that we don't destroy communities by putting the wrong type of forestry in the wrong places. It has to be done properly and done with continuous cover forestry. It needs to be done in places where people want it. It's a very, very poor sign of our society when people are objecting to trees growing beside them. We need to sit up and listen and realise that there's something wrong here and it needs to be addressed. And the first way of addressing that is through having planning permission, that people can know what's going on in their community, can see the sign going up and can ensure that they can object to it if they feel there's a problem. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a problem. It can be a positive way forward. And that's what we should be doing, is finding positive ways forward that our local authority and our local public representatives have a voice in all of this. And through the bill which I propose here today and I commend to the House, we suggest that planning permission should be required for any block of forestry more than five hectares. And I will commend the bill to the House and seek support for it. Thank you, Deputy Kenny. As